So this is my childhood bedroom <laughs> in which I've spent my childhood living in and it has now become a museum for Briar model horses. <laughs> so I'm going to go over and give you guys a collection tour. Starting on the top shelf, there is some draft horses here. Then uh, there is a decent sized Smart Chicolina Conga. A pretty solid Ethereal Conga as well. Um, I have Fire there and the Spun Gold Surprise in Buckskin, which are really hard to find. Then there is the Roxy Conga. Then there is the Idokus Conga, which I really like Brunello, the chestnut on the end. He's really quite pretty. Then there is a small Selenero Conga, a Kennebec Count Conga, the American Saddlebred Conga, which I really adore that mold. And then far, far on the very end are two Huckleberry Bay models, which I also have two more that live in my other house. Down on the second shelf, I have my Weather Girls and an Arabian Stallion. I have a Zippo Pine Bar Conga. Really like that mold for some reason. Then there is the Large Flash Conga, which I also really enjoy the mold. The guy on the end there is the Stone Lace Surprise in Bay Pinto, and I also have Ben Nevis, the, the Briarfest 2020 volunteer model. I have my two Thorbreds there, Rocket and Winx. Smarty Jones Conga. I have one <laughs> Lonesome Esprit here. Then a decent sized Cantering Stock Horse Conga here. And I really adore the Croy Damsha Mold or Dancing Heart, this pony by Sarah Mink. And I have a pretty decent Conga here, including the Premier Horse. Ramble, which was a collector's club special, really hard to find. Uh, and I also have a unicorn in there just to add to the fun. That's the only unicorn you'll see in my collection. My favorite mold of Briar ever made is the Nakota mold. And this is my longest conga. I have 10 total. One of these guys lives in my other house near my computer, but this is the main bit of the conga, including the Pop the Cork Briar Surprise model. Sundance, the Bay Pop the Cork, and so not a lot of rarity here, but just really, really like the mold and the colors that come on it. On this brown shelf in the middle of the room, I kind of have my mare and foal congas happening here. So we have the Andalusian mare and foal. This is the Premier Club version of that mold, as well as the Giselle and Jalen conga including Giselle Hera, which was a collector's club special who's really hard to find as well. Down low we have Totalas, Totalas, however you say the name, and my Andalusian Stallion Conga, which I really, really adore. Caliente is one of my favorites, as well as just the standard black. Then I have the 2020 Christmas horse that my boyfriend got for me this Christmas. Down here we have the Secession and Leaf Fire Conga. This is another favorite mold of mine. I really adore the personality of the Mareful set. So I have the main ones that you can get on this mold. This is definitely my favorite set, the Buckskin Pinto. This is Joe. He was my very first briar ever, so he remains on the shelf in a fancy spot. And I have two of the Rearing Picasso horses. The next shelf, we have the Indian Pony Mold. I have quite a few on this mold. I really like it for some reason. This particular Grula one is super rare. She was really hard to find. I also have a small Conga on the Cody Mold, who I also find quite cute. I like him for some reason. On the very bottom shelf, we have three big bends here. A Appaloosa Mule and a small run of Adios. I also really like the Adios mold. Moving over to the next shelf is my small 
silver conga, which includes a couple of really nice models on that mold. Uh, Hobo is probably one of my favorites. And then on the next shelf up, we have Leopard Dressage Appaloosa and my two Vallegros. And then directly to the right of that is my new inbox Alboroso, who I intend on keeping for a very long time. And then as we go up, we actually get into the custom shelf. <laughs> So here's where I display all of my customs. I have a couple small ones. So we have Morris, the Micro Juggernaut. We have Devana, the Valkyrie Resin by Sarah Mink. Uh, Shaveo by, I believe, Sarah Rose, Stablemate Resin. And we have a Micro Hazel in Pintaloosa, as well as the legendary Keon that many of you guys know from my YouTube channel. The main custom shelf starts with Jorg, who we all love, and Bacillus. These two are two of my never cells, and they will always remain with me. Then we have Sirius, the Dapple Grey Bristol. Ghost, the Andalusian Mare to a Mustang Stallion. Rattler, Finnegan. And Pongo is that Nakota custom on the very end. If we head down just slightly, I have a small newsworthy conga here. Past the TV, and we have a little donkey <laughs> conga here. Normally these two custom donkeys actually live in my mom's living room, but they're just here temporarily. So this is Blossom, who I gifted to my mom on Mother's Day. Custom Brady by me. And then I have my small Brady conga and little Doris custom donkey in the front. So I really like these donkeys. I find them super cute. So that concludes the majority of the main shelf. Now that being said, there is actually more to this room. If we glance just over to the left, I have a couple of showcase horses available here. And that string of lights looks really cheesy. Turn that on, it looks a little better. So this whole place actually gets lit up. I left the lights off there for the majority of the video, but here we are. These are a couple of really special showcase models. So I have Vahana, the Briar for Special Run, Gypsy Banner, which looks really cool, the Kel Surprise Lonesome Glory, my personal show string Alboroso, the Esprit Samba Surprise in Buckskin Tobiano, and Galahad, the uh, Special Run Andalusian Stallion, and then I also have the original Rain and Spirit models as well. So that's really, really fun that those just hang out there. And then directly to the left, if we swing around once more, this is the final shelf of models containing some extra pieces. So we're just going to run through them really quick. I have a couple ruffians up there, the trotting Arabian two Cleveland Bays and the Gypsy Banner in Buckskin. I have two Bobby Joes. I have the original Bluegrass Bandit. I don't love the mold. I sold all the other horses I had on that mold, but I really like her color, so I have kept her. I have the Buckskin Standing Stock Horse, the Marin Full Set from Briarfest, one Sham, one Wyatt, and one Dominante. I can't pronounce his name. Uh, I have a small bouncer conga here, as well as the fell pony. A couple of briar foals, including these two pony foals, which are like so cute. And a small misty conga. I have a couple of horses on walking thoroughbred mold, as well as the show jumping warmblood mold, which I really, really like. I have two trackners couple of Merwaris, including the very special Hot Couture, and a small Proud Arabian Mare Conga. Then I have the Rowdy Yates, I believe his name is, Justin Morgan, Cupid and Arrow, uh, Boone's Little Buckaroo, a Gem Twist, Appa Pharaoh, which I really, really like, the Gypsy King, who was like my second briar ever, and 
two models on the foundation stallion mold, which I surprisingly actually quite enjoy. Then I have two straplesses, two lady phases, and a small San Domingo conga. The very bottom shelf contains a small cigar conga, my very first grand champion, an old stablemate custom, a favorite stablemate, that's just a dream, smoke, and a classic full that I will intend on customizing actually. So that is this little shelf. These are kind of one-off horses or horses that I find don't really fit in in the main shelf as much. So that is my entire collection tour in my childhood bedroom. My parents are gracious enough to let me store them here, keep them here, and admire them here. Eventually this will probably change and I will have them in my own house, but for now this works really well and I really love how it looks, especially with the little twinkle lights. So that is an updated collection tour for the beginning of 2021. I have bought a lot of models over the years and this collection has really become quite perfect in my opinion. This has been DJB, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy my collection as much as I do.